Do you want to be able to take bookings on your website? Res Diaries Widget Configurator lets you create personalised booking widgets for your venue. This film will show you how to customise your widget and generate an embed code for a number of widget designs. To bring up the widget configurator, from your diary, click Promote and from the Online Facilities section, click Widget Configurator. For new diaries, these pages will be blank until you create your first theme. Your created widgets are divided into three tabs, Booking, Events and Marketing. Any widget theme you have created will be shown below. Each theme will show its name on the left. To the right of this, the chain icon will generate a temporary link to the configurator that can be shared with third parties, like your webmaster. The code symbol will create an embed code that you can use on any site to add your chosen widget. The pencil icon will open the theme for editing. Finally, the bin icon will let you delete the theme. Click the Create New Theme button in the top right to start creating a new widget. The pop-up will give you the option between a widget for a single venue or a selection from your group. The widget configurator is divided into two panels. On the right, there is an interactive preview of the widget. On the left are the settings divided into eight tabs. In the theme settings, you can name the theme and select a channel code. Selecting a channel for your widget tells the diary where these bookings are coming from. This is particularly useful when creating multiple widgets for different sections of your website or social media. For more information about channel codes, the Bookings Channel film is linked in the descriptor. You may want to direct your customers towards a booking success screen once they have completed their booking. Here you'll be able to toggle this feature on and supply a URL. The widget will include a booking reference, date, time and party size as query string parameters for the success screen to use. The fixed promotion settings will allow you to force customers to book using a specified promotion or skip the promotion screen entirely. For more information about promotions, the Creating Basic Promotions film is linked in the descriptor. Overall Look lets you set the first key aspects for the design of your widget. First, you can select between a black or white background for the Res Diary logo. In the general section, there are several color options. Color pickers are used throughout the configurator. It is recommended you use color hex codes to exactly match your widget with your brand colors, but you can click the color square on the right to open the color picker window. Set the color in the spectrum bar, select the tone in the square, and set transparency in the column on the right. Once happy with your selection, click elsewhere to close the window. To get the best look out of the widget, we would recommend using a limited color palette on your widget. Black, white, your main brand color, two shades of this main color, and a contrasting highlighting color. Set the background color, the text color, and the table return notice. This will only appear once the party size, date, and time have been selected. You can set the radius of the corners with the slider. For the font dropdown, you can select the typeset that is used across the widget. The button appearance will set the look of the previous and next buttons at the bottom. Booking Summary panel customizes the bar immediately below the Res Diary logo. Set the background color, text color, and border radius. The Divide Time Slots by Service toggle will change the way the time dropdown appears, showing or hiding the service the times are in. You have the option to include additional cover dropdowns for children and infants. You can also add an area dropdown, allowing guests to select the area they want to dine in. You can include any area as an option with the toggle. Calendar sets the look of the main calendar panel. Set the background, border and text colors. You can also set the radius of the border. In the days section, you can set the text and background color for each day box. On days that are unavailable, the background will be a shade lighter. There will be a difference in text color to show the next month. You can also add a radius to these boxes. 
Finally, set the background and text color of the selected date. The Promotion Choice window sets the look of a promotion in several states. First, set the border color and radius. This will be constant across all the states. The option background and text color is the default look for the window. The option hover settings will only appear when the cursor is over the promotion. The selected options will set the look once a promotion has been selected and the cursor has moved away. Drop down and input boxes sets the look for all drop down and input tools across each page of the widget. Set the background and text colors for the general appearance of any drop down or input. A validation error will only appear when information that is required has not been filled in. Choose a color that stands out for this. You can then set the color for any placeholder text that appears before information is added to an input box. In the border section, set the main border color. The focus color will show when a drop down or input box is selected. This has a glow effect to increase its visual impact. You can then set the radius for the border. Set the background and text color for options that are selected within a drop down. Contact details gives you a selection of optional input boxes that can be added. You can add a title field, landline telephone number, name field for a company, postcode field, and an option to require a postcode. You can also add a field for date of birth, an additional field for year of birth, and an option to require this information. Below this, there is a text field for text to be shown below the date of birth input boxes. The Show SMS Marketing toggle will add the option to opt in to receive marketing by SMS. Custom Logo lets you select an image from your computer to add as a footer to your booking widget. The image must be 200 by 50 pixels in size and no larger than 2.5 megabytes. The widget can support an image with transparency. Once you have selected your image, click Upload and the image will be added to your widget. Once you have customized your widget, we recommend you make test bookings to ensure that you are happy with the overall widget display. Once happy, click the Continue button. If you want to see how to make a booking with the widget, the Using the Booking Widget film is linked in the descriptor. If you have any questions, you can find more information about the widget on the Knowledge Base or get support anytime by raising a ticket.